In last class of CCNA playlist, we discussed about uh, what is networking, what are the types of networking which are available and we also discussed about the component and devices that required to set up our network infrastructure. So this is another class and in this class, I am going to guide you uh, about IP address management because you know that in the CCNA or CCNP or CCIE, in both the cases, you must need to know about the concept of IP address because all the devices that we are going to use in case of CCNA routing and switching content, you must need to know about the IP address because these devices are fully based on the IP address. Without IP address, we are unable to configure any kind of device and no usage of our devices, right? So this is another class of CCNA playlist 2024. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor, and let me guide you about the base of IP address and definitely this class will help you to understand about the base of IP address, importance of IP address and also how we can calculate the usable IP address. So let me move ourselves to the screen and guide you about the importance of IP address, types of IP address. So let me move but before that if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video CD video without skip any step. Uh, we are on page of, we will discuss about these points as well like as the devices and components separately but before that uh, we also need to know about the IP address management, about IP address class range, IPv4 and IPv5, IPv6. So these all are the points that I am going to guide you in this particular class. IP address, IP address class, IP version, right? And you also need to know about uh, <coughs> range of IP address and we'll discuss about the public and private. CIDR calculation is also the part of this particular class. So I'll guide you about the concept of CIDR and uh, subnetting. Yes, the subnetting is the type of method that help us to uh, calculate the usable IP address. So let me start from the very basic. For example, this is our network infrastructure and in network infrastructure, we already added multiple resources. Multiple network devices are involved like as let's talk about uh, this is desktop, okay, desktop 2, this is our laptop and maybe server, maybe network printer and switch. These all network devices are available in the same environment and you wanted to make a communication between these resources, these network resources. So what you need to do? We have a two different methods to make a communication, one with the help of wired and another with the help of wireless. I am talking about with the help of access point or Wi-Fi, we are able to make a communication between each other. But in case of making communication, because the wired and wireless both are a type of method, both are a type of mediator which are responsible to just provide the communication, right? And if you want to transfer the data or packets between each other, then you must need to involve IP address. Like system must need to know about the address of each other, then they are able to transfer the data or they are able to receive the data in between. This is all about the IP address. So our responsibility, we need to know about the concept of all IP address types. We'll also discuss about the range of IP address, CIDR calculation and about subnetting, right? So this is the agenda of today's session. Let me help you to understand with the help of one diagram, how you can segregate the types of IP address. The first and important part, class of IP address, then range of IP address, then default subnet. And one more point just wanted to add IPv4 and IPv6, okay? So let me help you to understand about how many types of classes are available. A class, B class, C class, D class and E class, okay? So these all are the classes, <coughs> range 0 to 126. 
for A class 128 to 191 for B class, 192 to 223 C class, 224 to 239 D class, 240 to 254 for A class. Okay, but we are authorized to use only these three different class of IP address in case of local area network if you want to set up your LAN network environment so we are authorized to use only A class B class and C class talk about the default subnet mask 255.0.0.0 for A class 255.255.0.0 for B class 255.255.255 for C class the rest of range like as a D class is used for the multicasting or you can also say that video conferencing about the E class it is uh, used for the research and development and safe for the future in case in future if we require any kind of IP address then we need to utilize from the E class all good guys I hope you are able to understand let's talk about the range of IP address means the types of IP address which is categorized in two different part IPv4 and IPv6 the total capacity of IPv4 contain how much 32 bits and IPv6 up to 128 bits so this is the capacity of both types of IP address and now our responsibility we also need to know about uh, <coughs> uh, difference between public and private and then we will talk about the calculation method so next uh, topic is about private IP range as we discussed we are authorized to use only A, B and C class of network in case of A class, it is started from how much? 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. This is the maximum range of private IP address applicable for class A. 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 class B. 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 okay so this is the range of private IP address and it's mandatory for us we must need to know about the actual use cases of these IP address so we can use these range of IP address to configure our local area network apart from these range all the IP addresses are considered as a public IP address and we are not authorized to configure public IP address by self because the public IP address always provided by internet service provider right so <clears throat> this is the range and the rest of IP address that are uh, started from any number like for example one IP address is started from 192.100 sorry 191.100.10.25253 this is public IP address because this address is not part of right this address is not part of uh, not a range of A, B and C class that is why it is a type of public IP address. Public IP address always provided by internet service provider ISP responsible to assign the IP address to your resources or to your devices. I hope you guys are able to understand if everything is okay. We can proceed for the next step which is really important i am giving you one example of cidr calculation <coughs> cidr calculation the use cases of cidr calculation like as for example we have one ip address 192.168.1.0 slash 26 this is the value our responsibility to calculate uh, subnet we don't know and the second is usable IP address 
So, our responsibility to calculate it. Okay, very basic steps required, right? So, let me guide you how, how we can calculate it. This is the CIDR value. As you discussed, this is type of IPv4, is that correct? And the total capacity of IPv4 equal to 32 bits. And how much space you already consume? 26. Slash 26, you have already consumed. And this is the range of our IP address, which is belongs to class C IP address. Is that correct? So, let me calculate the value of our uh, usable IP address and subnet mask. So, you can divide your slash 26 into binary format 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One box is applicable to assign up to 8 IP, 8, 8 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How much it is? 24. 25, 26, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. <clears throat> if you calculate the value of triple 1, it becomes how much? 255. You can calculate. You can convert it from binary to decimal. And the last one is 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, 6, 7. Okay. If you calculate the value 2 raised to power 7, 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 times and it become 192 and 2 raised to power 6, it becomes 64. Add 64 plus 192. How much it is? Sorry, 128. It becomes 192. 192. We successfully calculated the value of subnet. How much it is? 255.255.255.192. This is the subnet. And what about the usable IP address? You need to subtract 256 minus 192. It becomes how much? 64. Usable IP address would be all good guys. So, this is the agenda how to calculate the value. I hope you guys are able to understand. This is all for today's session. We will connect tomorrow and discuss more about CCNA class. Thank you guys. Take care and do subscribe. You are on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye bye.